Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Eric Redfern, and today I have the VidCon Blues. I am really kind of bummed out that I'm actually not going to VidCon because Playlist Live was fun overall, but that is the reason why my cash flow has was interrupted and that I can't go to VidCon. And I'm kind of really bummed out. Like, I, I really do want to go to VidCon, and that's kind of like my blues for the day. And so, but I'm not going to stay on it. I'm going to try to move on because staying in one thing is just not the best idea and I feel sad, but I'm gonna just, you know, do my stuff. But an idea did pop into my head and I was thinking that, because, you know, there are many creators there and different things and so many awesome people. So I thought I would give you guys my top five brands from the YouTube community that I actually, like, listen to. And by brands, I mean actual, like, podcasts, videos, channels, or music. All that kind of stuff, because it's a good collective and if it wasn't for VidCon, I wouldn't probably be listening to these five things. I think one of them is not from VidCon, but still. Uh, but these things are not like top five like in any order, like one is better than the other. But they're just five things uh, from like different creators, popular, not popular, whatever, that I just come back to and listen to multiple times. So let's go over them. Popular one is the actual podcast from Shane Dawson and Friends because surprisingly, he did podcast so well and honest that it's actually it's, it's kind of really funny when you actually listen to his podcast because he Shane Dawson does not give two shits and a half about what he says. I mean there are some things he does have to filter out just for the reputation for the podcast, but otherwise it's very honest, very truthful, and he does spill his true opinion about many things, but when it comes to about when he shares on his videos like I have a hard time keeping on his videos, but on his podcast, he's very honest about everything that he does, about breaking his back, and things that happen in the YouTube community. Like, I'm down with that, and it's very awesome that he actually tells the truth, and I give major respect for that, because no one else wants to do that on their videos, actually. Maybe there's one person or another, but I just haven't discovered them. Now, the second thing is actually a YouTube channel called Pyrolithium. Now, she was a good friend that I actually met at Playlist Live last year, and she is a gamer, and the thing is, is that for a new person that is coming out to actually making a new videos and all that stuff, because she's a new YouTuber just like me, but she is actually really good at her commentary, like, there are a few YouTuber gamers that I've met, well not actually met, but seeing their work actually, and the thing is that it's hard to capture a person's attention sometimes when it comes to gaming because not only do you gotta be a vlogger like, you also gotta be a gamer like and try to combine the two and actually capture a person's attention. And she actually does that pretty well. Like, I don't want to compare it to PewDiePie or other really high gamers because that's like really like matching it because they're they're not the same person, but that's what they are kind of good for. Like this Pyrolithium is very good for gaming, and she does well commentary, and I really do enjoy it, so make sure you want to go check her out, because that stuff is just awesome! Not to mention she's been uh, playing The Evil Within. Makes me want to play the game. Number three is actually one of my good friends that I did meet at VidCon, so this one actually I did meet at VidCon which is uh, Amarante, and now there are my best friends, uh, Josh and Danny, who live all the way out in Los Angeles, and right now, if I am correct, they should be at VidCon right now and actually enjoying themselves, and I do wish um, I could be hanging out with them because I do actually kind of miss them, and I want to stay in contact with them as best I can, and, well, my life is just flubbing up in its own way where it's kind of hard to stay in contact with my friends, because I kind of forget sometimes, but I do try to say my best to keep in touch with them. I use their music for my videos on YouTube sometimes when it comes out to the right moment, when it feels it's like the right moment. Otherwise, I definitely use it for my fire spinning performances, and their music is very well for it, so not only do I use it just for my videos. Now, the fourth thing is actually another podcast. Surprisingly, I've only talked about one channel, but this one is from another popular YouTuber, and that is Psychobabble. Now, these two guys, they like to talk about pop culture, things going on in the YouTube community, which is also pretty good because they are YouTubers, and the thing is that 
Um, they actually just keep me well in tune what is going on in pop culture because if you guys know me, I suck at that. I've got no idea what is ever going on in that world, but surprisingly to them, and not surprisingly, I mean thankfully to them, I can actually stay in tune for what is actually going on for like Iggy Azalea, the, something called about the Antichrist of Northwest and all that stuff. I mean, their humor is really good and it's uplifting, all that stuff. And the thing is, is that I, again, may have a hard time saying with their videos, but I do really enjoy a good podcast. And this keeps me up to date very well what's going on in pop culture, much more than I ever was before. Because before, you could have talked about what was going on and I would have gone foop and had no idea. But thanks to them, I can actually stay up a bit more behind the date, but at least not be clueless. So, and this last person is also a gamer YouTuber, and well, I guess gamer YouTubers really don't expand out to do other stuff, but they do very well on their own channel. This person is called Cryotic. Now, he is also a gamer, but very, very much popular. I believe he is actually friends with PewDiePie, um, otherwise known as Felix. He's an interesting character just beyond most people I've ever met. Like, I know some people don't actually show their face at all, but the thing is that this guy is actually pretty well and actually hiding his face, but still coming up with a character for himself. And for as popular as it is, he's got the most intense voice of all. Like, there's no voice I've ever heard that could match up to his. And so the thing is that actually... He's actually collabed with my friends uh, at Amarante in actually making music, and so the thing is, is like, this is a great intervention and also a great example of YouTube community of actually helping each other. But his gaming videos are awesome, his voice is very interesting, he tells stories, he does very well, and what he does, and it's an entrancing voice to keep you there all the time. So if you also want to check him out, there you go. So there you go guys, those are five YouTube community products that I can recommend to you guys. Can go check them out because they are awesome, you'll enjoy them with all the sympathy that I have towards my words flubbing up. I don't know what. But if you want to go check them all out, link in the description down below, you can go check out all those five things. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you click the like button because that will be most beneficial to my emotion today for my VidCon Blues. And don't forget to subscribe, because if you do, you get a lifetime of happiness. It's true. Otherwise guys, I will check you out later, and I will be on my way, so may you be free to be who you are and wherever you go. Till next time, see you guys!